Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Daniel Richardson, Citadel Defense, and today we're here to talk about Handgun 201 and what to expect, you know, slash what we're going to cover in, in class. So what do we got first there, Daniel? Uh, are we going off the list? Or yeah, let's, no, let's Oh, the Universal Omnipresent Gun Safety Rules. All oh, right. Uh, the we, four rules. That's right, the four rules of gun safety. We call them universal and omnipresent because... Uh, I don't know anybody who doesn't go by those four rules. Yeah. Those They're extremely standard. You probably and, know them already, right. but it's always good to have a good refresher. And omnipresent because they exist whether you're on the range, whether you're in your house, whether you're having to defend your life in the middle of the street, wherever you are and wherever you're using your gun, mm -hmm. those rules exist. They're mm -hmm. absolute. Uh, so we, we cover those. Mm -hmm. Those are important. Those All are, the basics. Oh, Stance, grip. Um, sight alignment, sight picture, yep. all the basics. How to, how to you shoot know, your gun. And, and we've said this before, but the fundamentals are shooting your gun. That, that, so that's we're going to cover shooting. these all day long. We will be critiquing you on them all day long. All shooting is Helping you grow. That, that's yeah, really all it exactly. is. Exactly. Combat yeah. accuracy. Combat accuracy. So we say combat accuracy because your shots have to be good enough. Mm -hmm. What is good enough? Well, that depends on the situation you're in. Um, you know, if you got a guy that's three yards from you and he's standing to you square... Uh, you can light them up pretty fast. If you have to take a hostage shot at seven yards with your pistol because someone's holding your kid, well, your your accuracy has to be a little bit tighter, right? right? So we cover combat accuracy. That means being good enough when the situation arises. Mm -hmm. And this is something we're working on. You're going to come in somewhere. We're going to help you develop. Yep. You may not be where you want to be at the end of no. the class. You most likely will not. I never yeah. am. Um, but we're going to help you grow in that area. And not only that, to help you understand your limits. So that if you face a situation in the real world, you know what your limits are, you know what you can take, uh, and when you need to readjust yourself, your position, and the situation to wait for that opportune moment where you can use your firearm. Yep. Um, Post-shooting procedures. So what do you do after you pull the trigger, right? So we're going to talk about searching and assessing, we're going to talk about 360 scans, we're going to mm -hmm. talk about where to point your gun, uh, we're going to talk about all of that kind of stuff. But that's, that's important. Every time you practice shooting on the range, assuming you have a range that lets you do this, you know, you need to bring your gun in. You need to do your scans. You need to do your 360 search and assess. You need, you need to be aware of what's going on around mm -hmm. here. Speed reloads. Speed reloads. God bless speed reloads. I love practicing speed reloads. Why? Uh, not necessarily because they're the most practical. Because in real life, honestly, you probably... I mean, the likelihood of you having to reload your gun in the middle of a fight is low. It's if you do, you're having an extremely <laughs> really bad, bad day. It's low. But the thing I like about speed reloads is when you get good at speed reloads, it gives you a level of confidence with your gun that is just hard to obtain anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, th there is a s extreme level of confidence you can have when, you're g when your gun is empty, you can just reload it, that uh, really carries over to your mindset of how you mm -hmm. run and operate that pistol. And it makes you feel like you're in command of the pistol. Yeah. Uh, and that's really one of the major reasons we practice lots of speed reloads, because we think they're really important. Mm -hmm. Malfunctions. Malfunctions, right. So there are four different mm -hmm. ways, right? Your semi-auto can break uh, in the middle of a fight that allow you to fix it, and we're going to make sure you know how to do that. Yep. Um, single hand techniques. Yeah, well, you got to be able to shoot with one hand, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yep. And we do uh, weapon hand and, and support hand. Yep. So, you know, we don't say strong hand, we can't, by the way. I don't, I don't like that trash. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Shooting from unique positions. Right, kneeling. Uh, we'll probably do some supine if the mm -hmm. range allows. Uh, we'll do some urban prone. You know, we'll do shooting and walking at the same time. Right, it's like walking and chewing bubble gum. Um, so stuff like that. Cover versus concealment use. Right, there's a, there's an important difference, right? Cover stops bullets. Concealment just hides you. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about using that and leaning on around corners. Shooting, and moving. Talked about that. It's pretty forward, backward, sideways. We'll we'll get you there. And finally, two man tactics. All right, so we're going to do an intro to, to two-man people. And what we say, what we mean about that is we're going to do a, a module basically based around if you happen to be out with your buddy and some guy or groups of guys decide to rob you that day, uh, how are you going to do that? Because when it's just me, I, I don't have to be necessarily aware of anyone that I'm with. No, mm -hmm. most likely maybe you're with your wife, your kids, your friends, whatever. But if there happen to be two of you and both of you got guns, it's a very good day for you, it's a very bad day for them, mm -hmm. and we'll talk about how to work that. Yeah, and, it, and if you have friends and people in your life that um, you hang out with, you live life with, uh, it's good to be on the same page yep. for that kind of stuff so that if you ever face one of those situations in the real world, you will both uh, instinctively snap into action. Yeah, and then you can come to our class and you can you can learn that two-person <clears> stuff, and then when you go back to hang out with your buddies, you can say, hey, this is what I learned, let's practice this so yep. we're all on the same page. Exactly. Great. Yeah, That's come, it. we're going to have a lot of fun. 
It's going to be awesome. You'll learn something. Yep. Do brave deeds and endure.